Soccer's World Cup trophy visited the Eternal City amid great expectations. Thousands of fans braved the cold and waited in long lines for an opportunity to take a picture with the most precious prize in the sport. È un'emozione molto forte. Sono venuta qui per curiosità, perché comunque la Coppa del Mondo una volta sta a Roma. Bellissimo la Coppa del Mondo, eh. La Coppa del Mondo è la cosa più bella che abbia mai visto. These 36 centimeters represents two people holding the world. The trophy is made with 18 karat gold and malachite, a green mineral. But only the winners are able to touch the World Cup. FIFA's World Cup tour started in South Africa, the same place where it will end on May 4th before the World Cup Games. But this trophy isn't just about sporting victories. The sponsors want to help the African people and have launched a fundraising campaign. With the money collected, wells will be constructed in regions greatest affected by the drought. Football has incredible power uh, to make the world a better place and uh, support the mission of FIFA to make the uh, world a better place uh, through the football. The sponsors aren't the only ones who wanted to make this year's World Cup into a show of solidarity. The Vatican kicked off an initiative called Church on the Ball, by which the church hopes to welcome the thousands who will attend. The Church on the Ball is a very catchy title way of saying, look, we realize that the World Cup is coming to us next year. We realize that lots of people are going to need um, spiritual support and, and so on, and that we need to prepare ourselves for that. Church on the Ball has in turn launched a website with information, like the times the Mass will take place in different languages. The site also educates the public on some of the most significant issues facing the country, like prostitution and the trafficking of minors.